All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, let's play Nino Kuni with Cicero. Uh, just real quick, I want to show you a couple things. I went back and found that it's a spiral horn that you can get for uh, your tumbler here, Asriel, if you will. So you see, I got it equipped right there. Um, where it's at is actually I spent a little bit looking for it because I couldn't remember where it was at, but it is. Oh, um, you can't really, yeah, you can't, okay, so, <laughs> if you see the little question mark in the center there with the dot dot dots at the bottom of your screen, or the bottom of the map, if you look to the west of that, there's a little hook shape, those are stairs, uh, and that leads you into the three torch, you know, you run down those stairs and you come through, and then that's the three torch puzzle you gotta do before you can open the door and run north to where we're at. Uh, right behind that, that hook of stairs right there, like I said, on the west, behind that stairs is a blue treasure chest uh, that, you can, that you can use spring lock. And unlock that, and you'll get the spiral horn. I also... Uh, I guess I'll show you this, too. I also upped... Uh, Dark Soldier's accuracy a little bit. And you can see I put some more evasion there on Asriel. Uh, so, that's all I did really. So, without uh, any further ado, let's go see what this is up here. So we can see uh, the Meowjesty and a big rat. What the hell's going on up here? Need a hand? It's you two. Look, one has retrieved, one's won. Uh oh. Huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. <laughs> the Wham! Struck one. <laughs> uh, well, at least you got her wand. <laughs> All right. That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you. We should wait till the conversation's done, I guess. Is one huge rodent. So we gotta fight Hickory you Dock. Squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we we are uh, too slow. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so this guy's not too big of a deal. Um, to get some more tutorial stuff here, but pretty much you just want to kind of come in here, stay away from him, kind of line him up with fireballs. You can see he's um, ow. He doesn't like fireballs. The tail spin. Everybody gets hit by that, I think. I should have defended. Yeah. Drippy comes down and saves me. That's the only one you gotta watch out for, I think. And he tells you your new tumbler doesn't uh, get confused very easily. But I'm still gonna light him up with another fireball here. Bam! Just kind of keep your distance. Got that magic sphere. Oh, yeah. See, he he throws a magic spell and it blasts it up in his face. That's what he. That's what Hickory Doc just did. Um, so now we can bring in Tumblr. Psych him up. Didn't really time that very well, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> he did it again. We're just going to throw a fireball. He's almost dead.
bring an Azriel to finish him off here. Bam! That's all she wrote. So, nothing too big. We won! Yes, we did, Oliver. Yes, we did. So we got some Gilders, got some nice XP. You did it right. I had to. You know I had to. stupid phrase in before he left. Come on, King Face. Where are we at here? Six and a half minutes. The Zodiacs are assembled, your Radiance. I thank you all for attending. Yeah, Radiance. Very well. I hereby call the Council to order. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. This is actually pretty cool, so I'm gonna shut up. The elimination of the pure-hearted one. Come before us, Dark Jin. You summoned me, White Witch. The so-called savior from the other world. He must be destroyed. Shadar, it is time that you proved yourself worthy of the title of executor. On one condition. Ha! The insolence! He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task to me and me alone. Hear me, members of the Council. I have no need of your aid. He thinks himself our equal. What gives him the right? He is either very brave or... To presume to give us orders. Babbling fools. Silence! Very well. You will have your wish, Shadar. I entrust the task entirely to you. Teach those who speak of a savior. The futility of their hope. It shall be done. This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness of despair. So we get our first look at Shadar there. Kind of cool, kind of cool. You saved my life back there. <laughs> and he's, he's upset because he got, he turned around and got Clocked on the head. Catnapping, as he says. This is one. So he's given us the wand. When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Here, it is yours now. Thank you very much, your Meow Just the. If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. But one could hardly say no to one so very pure. When you say you know who, you mean Shadar, don't you? Eh? <gasps> he said no the need name. to say it out loud, is there? But yes, that is who. <laughs> 
Oh, your majesty, you've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, your majesty. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. You'll see. And we got the wand. Ooh, we're getting some, some something else too. Some new magic. We got frostbite. That'll come in handy later. So he's telling us that we gotta go see Rashad in the uh, city of Al Mamoud. <coughs> Mamoon, sorry. Which is out in the desert. It's kind of the next area, but we still got some stuff we gotta wrap up here. Uh, errands and whatnot. We're at 11 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. No. Should probably equipped our. Oh, okay, it did. It already did it. Alright, spiffy. Um, okay. Uh, I don't remember. Let's go to the Aaron. Let's go to Swiss Solutions to the to the Aaron board place first cuz I think we can get some more stuff on top of the ones that we have. Like we got to uh, we got to go out and get those plants. I know that for sure. For her. Or no, for uh the lady that's down by the armory. Can't remember her name. But let's just go quickly check up here. See how our locket's glowing? That means we can take uh, pieces of heart pe from people around there. Anyway. So yeah, we got some new errands. So... Uh, we gotta go find somebody standing there. The water wheel. There's something wrong with somebody out in front of this place. There's a forest dweller who lives outside the city in the forest. Obviously, since he's a forest dweller. Duh. And then, um... There's somebody in Ding Dong Dell that, uh... Lost something. So, okay. Now we can go back up here. And do the... The piece of heart that was right by where we came out from the Meow Justy's office. Um, what are we at? 13? We'll probably do this. So he's like, if you hear the news, stop blazing around the palace and just going king worthy of the name of his name. The name. Fuck, I cannot read today. Uh so they're, you know, all excited. Yay. And he tells us about the great tug of tail tournament. Drippy's like, yeah, I've heard of it. It's the most popular pastime in all of Ding Dong Dell. This guy's all ramped up, which is a clue. Enthusiasm. So always kind of, when you find it, take it. You know what I mean? Like pieces of heart. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Um... Most of it kind of lines itself up, I think, so far, that I've played. But, you know, it's just a good good idea to just take it. So, like, what's going on with this guy over here? He's a woodcutter. He 
telling you that the town needs wood. And we can. So to keep that in mind for later. Uh, I know I talked about it in a couple videos previously about that, but I'm just kind of showing you that people walk around, and if you need um, a certain piece of heart, and you don't have one in your store, just take it. Just keep it. Just take it! Keep it! Use it! <laughs> I don't think anybody will get that reference, but... Uh, you never know. So this is one of our errands. <coughs> so this guy is all pissed off because his wife used to be a busy bee until recently. Now she doesn't sleep. Done anything in days. She's all like, it's just so tiring and cleaning and washing, shopping. Yes, we already have it. So, good. Heart. Oh, Christ, we're at 16, 17 minutes. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Okay, thank you, yes, you're good. So we got chocolate, flans, and gilders. Plus our stamps. So almost up to card number two. Right! Uh, we are going to end it there for this video. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Oh, before I... I'll do this as an introduction next time for the next video. I'm coming right back. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Peace and air grease and let the good times roll.